what's up guys what's up yo yo i go bar with you right on i haven't uh haven't been on here in a while uh took a little break uh if you guys uh know you guys know uh so anyways um it's a brand new year it's uh oh shoot it's already february <laughs> so um here i am um last minute thought i'd make a video haven't been on here in a while Thought I'd make uh, uh, something, something easy that you can do at home. Um, we're gonna make uh, carne asada, um, either tacos or tortas or something like that. But it's gonna be a, a, a simple thing to do, and uh, we're gonna get down and uh, I'll show you guys what's up. Hey, hey. All right, guys, here we are. All right, we got our ingredients ready to go. Uh, it's simple, like I said. Well, we got balsamic vinegar. We got soy sauce. We got uh, avocado oil here, but you can use olive oil, whatever kind of oils you want. We got chopped up cilantro. Uh, here we got oregano, pepper, uh, chili powder, cumin, and paprika. And we got about a uh, half a onion chopped. Uh, not finely, just big chunks of, like that. And then we got about uh, four or five uh, uh, garlic uh, right here, all chopped up. Uh, here we got two lemons and two oranges. Uh, these happen to be blood oranges, but regular oranges are going to be fine. Uh, this is just what I have right now. And then what we have here is um, about four pounds of uh, flap skirt meat um and that's it just the way it's cut like that big chunk you can go this came from a supermarket so uh um kind of chopped it up but uh these are nice nice uncut lengths um and we're gonna go from here so all it is dude is just a simple marinade you're just gonna get your um oil and just put them out. I mean, I, I don't measure my amounts. I just pour as I go. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go, a little more. Let's go right there. I'm right, gonna put that away. All right, now next we're gonna go balsamic vinegar. Um, like I said, I don't measure nothing. I just pour and I uh, see how I like. So that's uh, about right there, about fine. I have to go a little more. All right. And then we're gonna put in some soy sauce. Right there. Um. Like I said, you can you can do berries. You can even add Worcestershire if that's what you want. Um, so like I said, it's just uh, chopped cilantro. Put it in here. And we get all our, our rubs, our spices. Throw that in there. And then lastly, no, almost last, but onions. Then we got the garlic. Uh, what I just realized right now, what I should have done is got all those spices before I added all this other stuff into it. <laughs> and I'll be right back because I just forgot I need a spoon. <laughs> All right, here we are, we're back. So we're just gonna just mix this up. Just like this. Make sure it's all in there. Get all that mixed up real good. And you can already 
smell the aroma off this. So what we're gonna do now is start gaining the oranges. Um, I didn't pick all the seeds out, so I, I picked as much as I can, but whatever's inside, um, you know, it's there. You're not gonna kill it or nothing. So all it is is just uh, getting these and uh, squeezing these real good. And this is pretty easy. You can have it in there for minimum four hours, two, four hours, or even uh, overnight if you want. The only problem with uh, anything more than say four, uh, when you start getting the six, fifth, six hour, um, since it's got the lemon um, or lime, whatever you want to use, it, uh, it could start cooking it. Um, so you really don't want this sitting too long. Um, because the acidity from the oranges and mainly the the lemons and limes. So like I said, I used uh, lemons today. Uh, you could also use limes. Um, not gonna make so much of a big difference. So just uh, grab these. And I try to get as much uh, juice as I can. Another marinade. So yeah, I haven't been, I haven't, I haven't made a video in a while, guys, and uh, you know, yeah, I'm just uh, going through some personal things going on, and uh, just need a, you know, a little break. You know, some of you know what's going on, and uh, some of you uh, don't. <laughs> so the ones that don't, um, life's good, baby. Life is good. You know what I mean? And here I got the Jets. We got an Air Force base right next to us and uh, it's gonna get pretty loud right now. Here they come. USA, baby, USA. <laughs> if there's one, there's always more to follow. So yeah, I got about maybe two or three. So hopefully uh, that one sounds pretty high. So as they get pretty loud down here. So, all right, we got these all uh, squeezed out. So now we're just gonna mix this up real good. And like I said, uh, the amount that I put in um, can vary. You can go a little more, a little less. It's just, there's no really set recipe in this. Different parts of Mexico have got different styles. Of it. Uh, you could even put chiles in here, jalapenos, serranos, um, you know, if you want a little more spice, but, uh, you know. So just grab meat, put it in here. Then it get dirty. Just like that. Get a nice coat. Grab another one. Do the same thing. Put it out the side a little bit. Grab another piece. Um, you could also, uh, as you're done, you can also put this like in a freezer bag. Uh, me, I prefer um, a bowl. It just makes it easier to, to mix uh, with your hand instead of a uh, from a bag. Get that in there. We got two more pieces. Get that up. Make sure you get everything in there. Get a nice coat going on. And then, like I said, um, you can put it in the fridge for two hours. I'm gonna go for four um, and go for there. And like I said, you can go over it over all day, all night. The only problem is uh, the acids from the from the lemons or limes and uh, oranges uh, could start cooking this. So by the time you wake up next morning <laughs> or after even a whole day, it could be already cooked. 
uh, like ceviche. So just want to be covered with that. So just like that. And then uh, from here, like I said, we're just gonna go put this in the fridge for a couple hours, for a few hours, about four hours I'm gonna go. And then uh, that's the uh, consistency of how it is. It's all in there. Um, got a nice aroma on the hand. Uh, just let all these uh, all these ingredients uh, soak into the meat. Um, like every hour, you probably get in here um, and then move it. Get the the ones on the bottom. Um, mix it up. Mix up all the all the ingredients, all the onions, cilantro, and stuff, and uh, just like that, we're good. So um, we're gonna. I'm gonna cut loose real quick, and uh, when we come back in a few hours, uh, we'll be ready to uh, uh, put this on a grill, and start cooking, and start making carne asada, homemade baby, just like that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. La go barbecue baby. Yeah yeah. Guys, I forgot one important ingredient. <laughs> Uh, add a little liquid. Me, I'm gonna add some uh, some dark some dark Mexican beer, Modelo Negra. Um, I say about half half a beer. Not you don't gotta go too much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got another plane going over. Yep. That's perfect. You just want just enough to uh, add some, uh, add a beer. You only go a little more. And then the rest, salute, you guys. Thank you. Blacko barbecue. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is good, man. This is good. I thank you guys, dude, from the bottom of my heart for all the support you guys give me. And. Some of you guys have been real good, close friends that I've developed over the years. And just want to say thank you, dude, to all you guys for what you guys uh, do um, as friends for me. And I try to, in return, do the same for you. And love you guys, man, from the bottom of my heart. in there real good and this is gonna be a good one dude this is gonna be a good one it's like that just enough liquid in here get everything going on see that see that oh yeah hey 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 what's up guys what's up black old barbecue we're back we're back all right <clears throat> we got we got, uh, let's say, four hours on this in the marinade. We got the beer, Modelo Negra in there, dark beer. So uh, we're ready. We are ready. Yeah, yeah. So uh, got the, the grill. Oh, that too. If you guys uh, don't know, uh, I got a brand new, new grill. Not mine. I'm holding it for a homie of mine. That just moved out here from out of state, and uh, this is it. So we got the uh, what do you call that? Chingadera. Um, slow and sear. There you go. That's what it, I think. That's what it's called. Slow and sear, or some shit like that. So, anyways, we got that going on, and it's pretty good, dude. Um, got a little water tray. I don't know if you can see, it's like right here. Um, I haven't used it as the water tray, but I use it for indirect and pretty good so anyways here, here we are here we are here we are so uh we're just gonna grab a piece in here let's grab a nice big one there we go all right here we go and that's how it looks dude uh four hours of marinade all that stuff in there and now we're gonna go put it on ready one two three there you go oh yeah Oh yeah, so let's uh, let's 
Let's get another one. Let me see. There we go. Here we go. And um, this doesn't take long to grill. If you never cooked uh, flap or skirt meat. Um, it's pretty quick. We're not gonna slow, slow and slow. It's in a high heat and we can get it. I'll do the, the aroma off this. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. So, a couple minutes. That's all I need, dude, for this stuff. Um, there are different ways of cooking this, of course. It depends on your preference. Some guys like it all the way cooked through and a good bark kind of crunchy uh some guys like a little pink in it some guys like uh like right here this is done <laughs> type of thing it's all your preference to how you want to cook it um for tacos um me i personally like a good full cook through all the way through well done and with a little bark so you kind of like burn it a little bit um but like i said it's all preference dude there's no way of doing it how you it's just how you like it you know what i mean there's no set that you have to do it this way whatever and you know like with everything guys you're always gonna have trolls or haters like no you're doing it wrong man dude you gotta do it this way no mommy's ways come on just do it that's it, so uh, you can see, got a little little bit, so I'm gonna go a little more. Uh, this one's got a little more heat in the back, so pretty thick piece. So I'm gonna put that one, I think I'm gonna go one more, one more piece, let me see. Uh, that one's kind of big. This one's kind of big. This one, just about right, no, let me see. This one's a big one, you know what, let me go Think of this one. Is it this one? No. This one. Yep. Let me go with that one. We're gonna do this one. All right. So, and like I said, dude, it just just a throw it on here. You know what I mean? Um, just like that. Oh, dude, this shit smells so good. The smoke that comes off is, oh, dude. You gotta try this. You guys gotta try this. Pretty good. And it's also cheaper too. This this way you can get it. Uh, shit, I don't know what we paid for, but I know <laughs> for some reason, dude, because of this COVID stuff that's going around. Uh, I seen carne asada go as high as fifteen dollars a pound. Fifteen pound. I can understand ten is like the norm if you want to raise the price a little bit but like $15 a pound dude come on dude that's like that's like too much um seven it's normally about seven eight around that area nine ten I can pay that you know on a holiday or whatever um but yeah for some reason it's been going quite kind of high there you go see just like that bro just like that bro <laughs> now I'm broke Dude, all right, so we can go with this one. Do that. Oh, oh, man, that is really good. And we'll go and wait on this one. And we got another three more pieces in here. Something like that. Um, some guys also, too, like to put the um, the onions and all that, marinade and all that stuff. Um, I do sometimes. Uh, I might do for the last ones, finish it off and just put it on there and, and let the onions cook on the meat and stuff like that. But let's see what happens. So I know this this thing of, of oh, dude, you just crossed contaminated uh, raw meat and you're touching that meat. And here, here's your cross contamination. There, I'm really slurring. Oh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Right there, right, a little heat right there, kill off all the bacteria or whatever is in there, all the COVID and, you know, Omicron, whatever that shit, burn that shit off. We're good. There. That's it. Sterilized now. We're sterilized, baby. 
Oh, also, dude, you guys got to get a pigtail. Get a pigtail. Oh, yeah. So, let me, uh, let me get this going. That's, that's, that's all this is, dude. Just simple. Simple cook. Um, when this one gets there, this should be done. And stuff like that, so. Let's, uh, let's see what's up. Oh, for right now, let me, uh, let me try to get something. Let me see if I can get something. Here, I'm going to show you a quick way to make a michelada, or michelada, however you want to pronounce it. Yeah, I mean, oh, oh, man. oh yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Doing it one hand. <laughs> All right, so, um, it's just a clamato uh, michelada especial, and I kind of like this one. I just got, I just picked this, I just tried it last week, and it, I kind of like it. I think it's the best one. Uh, the ones they make so far. So, like this, do a whole one. Um, you know what? Yeah, I me. I'm already been drinking. I'm not gonna drink so much, too much. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna pour some into here. And this is where it, it 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 it's cool to have a, a mixing, uh, an extra one, so you can do a mix because uh. You know, um, they stay around quite a bit. So I'm, so we got this about half. That's cool. You know what? Let me go. Yeah. Let me go with this one. I, really, I don't know. I poured too much in that one. So anyways. Yeah, I reported. I'm going to cross another cross contaminated. Oh, you know what? I, did I do the right lid on this one? Was this from the old one? Ah, who cares? <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do is, uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, we're going to uh, squeeze a whole in here, a whole lemon, and then get it. Uh, I got a seed that popped on it. I thought I grabbed them all. All right. So put that in there. Squeeze that. And then we're gonna squeeze this one. Same thing. This is like a real quick mix. Uh, you can you can do one from scratch like I did. Uh, I have a video on here. That's probably my biggest view video I've got. Um, so that's it. Just put it in there. Uh, me, I like some pulp in there. Um, I also like mine a little spicy, so don't be uh, don't be shy. I you can use any any salsa mix, chile. I use Valentina. This is the black label. Valentina makes two of them. Make this one, the black label, and the regular one. I prefer the black label. It's a little hotter. So you just go in there. And don't be shy, dude. Don't be afraid. It's just chile. It'll go good down right now, but when you go take a shit, oh, it's gonna burn. All right, that's enough. There, and then take that seat out, put that right there, close it, and then you're just gonna mix it. Mix it real good. Get that chile to go all over. And, uh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, let's go back to the meat. Go back to the meat. Oh shit, I'm burning it. Alright, so there we go. Yeah, that's really good now. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna put it here to the side. Get this one, flip it. And like I said, dude, I like it, I like it a good bark. Um this is probably like well done a little bit, but uh it's good anyway, bro. Oh yeah, I got a good bark right there. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if I can take it off. Take it off. Come on. Get off, baby. Get off. Mm. All right, I gotta use a hand. Fuck it. Yeah. And if you look at it, if you look at it, it's like just perfect, dude. The amount of focus. Okay, let me see. There we go. Oh, that's perfect, dude. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, dad going out, put these right here, keep them warm. Mm. And we're gonna go get the rest. Let me see that one. Oh, contaminated. Oh my God, I touched it. Oh no, oh no. Someone call the YouTube police. Call them. I did a no-no. And that's it, dude, look at it. It's real simple, dude. Real simple. This one, pretty good. In fact, I can put, I put this one right there. Hit that one right there. And then grab this one. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, oh, dude, this smells so good. And like I said, dude, it's really easy. You can make tacos or make a torta out of this. Like a me torta is like a, I guess a me uh, like a Mexican sandwich. You know what I mean? And uh, you're good. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Eat your meat. Eat your meat. Get that. Knock some of that char off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. We're looking good. We're looking good. All right. Now get the last piece. I want to say this is the biggest one. Let me see. Let me see. Ready? One, two, three. Oh yeah. Yep. That's the biggest one. So while that's cooking and burning, <laughs> let's uh let's go get a beer. I'm empty. I got the music on pause because I don't goddamn Facebook or YouTube with their copyright issues and shit and they're gonna say, oh you're in violation. I right. hey, I gotta restock my beer for it, dude. Yeah. Mm. It's a good sign. I mean, they had good times. <laughs> All right, let's go back here. And like I said, just... like I said, there's no set stone of how much you want. Some guys like it 50-50. Some guys like it like me. Nah, maybe four ounces around there. Um, this is uh, this cup, one of those uh, mule those like Russian mule cups, I want to say is a 16 ounce. So I got four and then a whole beer, 12. Uh, we'll do the job. So about there. You know what I mean? The, these uh, Mikaladas, uh, not everybody's cup of tea. Um, but if you like uh, Mexican food, uh, you got to love Mikaladas, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let me uh see if we can turn this around. Where we at? Oh, turn this around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times, baby, good times. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Wow. Ooh, that chili I taste. Ooh, that chili is good. I'm showing too much forehead. Gotta be about the local style, eh? You want who you from, eh? Mm, from Black Hole Barbecue. <laughs> and this is how we do it, man. This is how we do it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so let's uh let's 
go back to this. Oh, I forgot. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'll put it on the. I'll put it on the other side. Let me see. Oh yeah. I'll flip it one more time. Mmm, 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 all right, right there, and then we're just going to grab some of this, and just, let's put it on, I know, I'm going to get a lot of shit, because, oh, dude, that's contamination, it's raw meat, blah, 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 and shut up, shut up. We've always done this. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good shit, man. This is good. All right, now what I'm gonna do on this one, um, I'm going to close this a little bit. And uh, cook it. So that'll be, the ones I did before are gonna be well done. And that one's gonna be, um, like a medium, not medium rare, but medium, and that's what I'm gonna go for. And then uh, those would be the juicy ones, and this would be the, the well done, crispy ones, charred. And uh, an errand. pretty easy, dude. So give me a couple minutes. Um, I'll come back. Yeah. It's one of those uh, radar equipped ones. Or is that a B-52? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that's what's going on, dude. Give me a couple minutes, uh, let that, and finish my beer, and we'll be back, and uh, we'll finish with the video. And uh, we'll see, um, we'll make a plate, and we'll eat and grub. Good times, baby, Black Hole Barbecue. Yeah, yeah. Ciao. Did he ate. All right, guys, here we are, here we are. All right, I just, uh, I flipped one before I started this recording, so uh, this is how it looks. Um, you could, you could kind of salvage these and, and pick them up and eat them. Um, I don't know if I'll do that. You could. I mean, they are cooked. You know, now they're cooked, because uh, this thing, this temp got like 400 degrees when I closed the, the lid, so it's on there on there good so um i'm gonna flip this one now in fact i might just dump those on that one yeah. looking good this one do the same keep some of it oh yeah oh yeah look at that That's it, dude. That's how. That's all you got to do. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like I said, you can do yours different. I charred these up pretty good. It's got a real good bark, burnt bark, and uh, these are gonna be a little more, a little more moist. Um, and uh, go from there, and we'll see what's up. So pretty easy dude you know what i mean you just uh you know uh take a couple hours to marinate that's the longest one the cooking it, it's pretty quick it's pretty good. and that, that's that's what that's what um that's what's good about carne asada because it's like the perfect tailgating food because um uh, you can really carne asada bro you really don't need utensils you just get yourself a tortilla some pico de gallo, chile, salsa, however you want to put it on. And you can literally eat off the grill, dude. Like, all you got to do is just like, grab a piece of meat right there, put it yourself, uh, a tortilla in your hand, put pico de gallo, put your chile on it, and you're good to go. You don't need a plate. You don't need a stinking plate. And that, uh, that's what I think. Carne asada is the ultimate tailgating food because it's so easy to make, dude. Mm-mm. Mm. And night is coming on, so I'm gonna be using light a little bit. So, 
That's it, man. This is how we do it, baby. This thing is good, bro. If you are into cheladas, big caladas, big cheladas, how you want to say it. Um, add some chile, bro. Add some chile sauce. It, it's pretty good. Oh, now this is the bomb. Dude, I'm going to kick these back. I'm going to nail them back. Oh. good baby life is good you know that life is good fuck yeah fuck yeah life is good oh, man. let's go let's go let's see how we looking on this one how we looking on this one yeah all right we're done with this this one yeah we're done I'm gonna kick these up to the side um, if I see if I can salvage some of this stuff you know let them slow cook from here on just not really slow cook just uh, keep them warm off to the side and stuff and uh, I'm gonna start cutting these up and see what's up yeah. Yeah, I might I might grab some of this, whatever's on here. That flavor of the burnt grill and uh and onions. Mm. Life's good, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right, next time we come back, we're gonna be making our food and we'll see what's up. Yeah man. Black like barbecue. Ciao. Alright, here we are, babe. Here we are. Look at that. Mm, man. Look at that. Drive by, drive by. Drive by, drive by. Look at that. A little pink in there. Oh. Good, good. Looking good. Got some chopped up pieces for tonight. These will probably be for next couple of days for work. Uh, just like that. And uh, this is all we got. Torta layer, baby. Look at that. Mm. I already put mayonnaise on it, so you know, I can't do it with one hand. I'll be making a mess, so I'm just gonna show you guys how to do one real quick. Me on these breads, dude. I like to uh, cave out, dig out some of the bread so I can pack in more meat or not more meat, just more. And you know, it'll be uh, a space for all that instead of just a flat cut. You know, what I mean, it'll be thrown out so I can throw it in there. So just line it up, dude. Throw some meat in there. That oh, dude. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so <clears throat> here we got tomatoes. I cut these, sliced them up, and I cut them um, in half. So I don't got a piece of tomato I'm trying to chew and bite off, you know, sticking out, falling out. It's all right there like that fix that up oh yeah and then we got onions I like a lot I like I love onion dude so just like that slice them and cut them halfway you don't gotta do fine like hot dogs just just like that perfect so when you take a bite, you got onion on each one, and then you got avocados. Look at that. Yo, yo. Mm. Get that. Get this last one, and this one too. Oh, man. lettuce line that up cover it and then have one mm. we got one and then cilantro uh, I like cilantro with a little bit of stock 
just adds a little flavor to it. You know what I mean? So just like this to do one. And add a little more steak. Mm. Just like that. And we're just gonna just pile on. Just like that. Don't be shy. A big sandwich. It's a big sandwich there. Mm. That's it, baby. Now we're gonna go eat. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You got yourself a torta right there, baby. Mmm, it's pretty good. Oh, that looks so good. Drive by, drive by. All right, let me, uh, let me see if I put this down. Close this up. And let's see if we can get a shot. Just like that. Just like that. There we go. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Alright, man. See you guys in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, back over. Mmm.